name is Peter Ayer. I'm here with David Robbins. We're partners at Kroll & Mooring in Washington, D.C. Today we're here to talk about a cutting-edge issue for government contractors, focusing on investigations and the enforcement landscape. David, what are you seeing? It's really interesting what's going on now in the marketplace. A lot of what's been in place for a long time is still there. The government still digs, they still investigate, they still ask questions. But we're seeing them focus on entirely new classes and categories of potential defendants, potential targets. Whether, I mean, we've had cases in the last year against private equity sponsors, sources of funding for businesses, surety companies, insurance and bonding companies that enable these businesses to perform federal projects. These are entirely new classes of defendants who typically haven't been focused on, for example, government contracts compliance because they've never been on notice that they needed to be. And that's a real phase shift. It's a shift because the law doesn't really apply to them. Specifically, the concept of treble damages doesn't really fit with their involvement here, and convincing them that this matters and this is a new area of risk has also been a new set of challenges. So what do you think, what's driving that? Who's driving that trend? Uh, th three groups, really. I mean, determined plaintiffs bar uh, are pushing forward aggressively with some openings provided by courts. Uh, the Department of Justice will engage and constantly seek to evolve the False Claims Act for example, among other things. And frankly, we still have a lot of federal task force and federal agents who are looking to make their cases, gain convictions, gain monetary recoveries. And in a lot of these cases, these are new deep pockets, sources of a lot of new money going forward. Interesting. So what, what are you seeing out there in terms of best practices and things that companies, uh, whether it's at the PE sponsor level or the surety level, should be doing to protect themselves uh, before the transaction, during the transaction? What, what are you advising clients to be doing to protect themselves in the face of this new trend? Now, that's the question, right? And I'm really interested in your thoughts on this too because you deal in that space, frankly, more frequently than I do. After the fact, when problems arise, they're really hung up on what emails did you see, what meetings were you in, were decisions that run against the rules and regulations, at least in the government's mind, were those decisions made, and did you have the ability to, to, ability to stop it? So really, I, I'd love to turn the question back on you. How do you convince these folks to pay attention and that government contracts, compliance, and awareness matters? Because that's the real challenge. So it's interesting. We, what we're seeing, in some ways, it has gotten easier than ever uh, to make that case. Because it used to be that this was lawyers talking about diligence checklists and things that would be nice to have. But what we're seeing is a, is a real evolution, where it goes to the very fundamental concept of the value of the investment. In the case of a PE sponsor, can the target company, the portfolio company, do what the business case says. Can they sell into that market? Uh, do they have the things in place to be able to market their sales, their products into the government in a way that everyone hopes and expects? So the compliance, it's not just a nice to have. It's, it's absolutely essential in order to capitalize on the business case. So it's an easier uh, argument in some ways, but obviously if you don't get it right, not only is it a risk to the business case, but it's a risk for the reasons that you mentioned, that enforcement community is looking at uh, the PE level, at the surety level, for, uh, for recovery. So it's, it's a huge risk area. Yeah, and, and you flip that analysis just a little bit with a surety, right? It's not central to a business case going forward, but it's essential to understand whether there's a risk of loss there, exactly. right? So if everyone's going to be tagged with needing to have knowledge and awareness of government contracts compliance, and especially in the ever-changing field of small business rules and regs, it gets really hard and people are taking a hard look at just the economics of the industry. Yeah. So I think awareness, where we're boiling, boiling down to, is awareness is key. They yes. need to know the risk is out there, but they really do climb on board pretty quickly. But I totally agree. But there's also an expectation especially in the case of a PE sponsor, where there's going to be a more active engagement and really grappling with those issues uh, as opposed to being somewhat more passive and deferring to management. Um, that has become an expectation that we see being pushed out quite broadly uh, by the government as well. Fair enough. Well, I appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. Good. Thank you.